Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palicka International, Neil Artisa and Educator here and today we will do some frozen roses. I have a preview of it in here. A slightly different technique of the 3D rose and I hope you really enjoy it. So let's start! So let's start playing with those frozen roses. Um, I'm going to grab some wipes in here. And then we've got some form, so I will just peel the form. You could do it on the forms, uh, but also you could do it uh, just on this part. And I'm just going to use this part. Um, and we'll use the mega white powder and some acrylic liquid and the uh, uh, acrylic design brush. So first of all, what you want to do it is pick up the uh, small bowl. I'm actually going to use something as well, why not? So pick up a small bowl and just uh, place it, at, you can dry it out and then place it on the um, back of the form paper. And then pick up a couple more. And again, it's quite time consuming, but uh, it can give absolutely amazing results. Okay, so once I've got uh, this wee balls placed in there, I can start moving them about. And when they reach those kind of matte-ish color, that's mean when they are ready uh, to be touched. So the first one, we want to make it quite long. And then the petals, you just want to squish them. So let's do it this way. So I've got one petal and then I've got second petal. Okay, pick up some uh, monomer and then check if your middle is ready to lift. Yes, it starts getting ready. So I'm just start rolling it. I do suggest you don't touch the acrylics with your fingers. Then once I've got it nicely rolled, I can pick it up and place it on my tip. Lift it up a little bit. And that's the middle done. Then go and pick up the first petal and just place it around it. And then pick up another one. and go around it again. You can also hold it to pull it a little bit. And then just hold it. So depending on um, what type of flowers you want, you will place your petals. Pick up a scoop of another one. I usually do few, uh, sometimes like by the time I pick them up, uh, they might be not red, uh, they might be too dry, uh, but I find that the process is much, much quicker than. I 
I could also start playing with some background. Um, so what I will do is I will just grab a drop of the blue pigment and some monomer in there, like lots of monomer and just paint some background. Like very watery. Almost like a wee sky. And clean the brush and squish another petals. Pick them up. See, this one is not ready to be picked up yet. You have to wait, otherwise they will get um, ugly shape. This one was a little bit too soon as well. Okay, place. Pick up another one. And then another one. I'm pressing them down first and then I can shape them. Okay, I also want some large petal there. As you can see it, they are not matte, so I cannot touch them. So in the meantime, I'm just picking up more. This one is just start getting ready. You can even shape them any way you like. This one is ready as well. That's a nice one, really large one. Okay, try to pick up this one. Squeeze it in underneath. And then pick up another one. Okay, I'm pushing it in underneath. And another one, push it in. and then lifted it up. Then 
this one very strongly underneath. Squeeze it in there. And then just add a wee tiny one in here. We also want to do some small bud. And some leaves. So for the leaves I'm picking up the white and the green. Just place it there, kind of mix it together. So this one was a little bit too large. That's a nice one. For the leaves you want to go rhombus shape. So keep pressing into a nice rhombus shape and then flatten it up. Rhombus shape. This petal doesn't want to stick in. Oh, come on, petal, squeeze in there. There we are. And then hold it. This one is too dry, so let's forget about it. Pick up a wee leaf. And another one. Okay, then do the one for the bat because the previous one has dry out. And then when this is going to dry out, I'm just going to pick up a tiny bit of the Aurora. So that's the Aurora pigment. And I will just mix it with some clear gel. So just pick up a scoop of the clear gel with Aurora pigment. This looks so pretty. Okay, create those middle. 
just in case pick up another petal because I have to wait anyway so I don't like to wait and then start rolling too soon you could see it it was kind of wrinkling so that wouldn't work Still a little bit too soon. Keep rolling it with your brush. I'm pressing down the bottom so it's easier for me to roll it. And then just place it there. Pick up those wee small petal. and push it underneath, then twist it. And another petal. So this is just like a wee tiny bat in there. Let's freeze those clear gel with the Aurora, or actually add it more, why not? I think it's super pretty. And now freeze it. Pick up the, change the brush to the gel brush. And apply a large scoop of the product over it so a large scoop of the product there and encapsulate it so when doing those type of flowers you want to really place them on the place where the apex is going to be and then keep it nice and thin to the edges, nice and thin around the cuticle area. Don't worry if you create uh, the air bubbles. I actually feel they are quite cute, to be honest. And then give it a cure. When this is curing, let's pick up uh, some gold leaf. And I feel like gold leaves always finishes off the designs. It just makes it much prettier. I have cut a couple pieces. And then pick up the gel. Apply it nice and thin layer all over. This way you'll also fill up any other gaps you might have. And I think this is a nice solution for the clients which would like to have those um, 3D effect but then they are um, not keen on two sticking out option. Can you place those gold leaf? Just nicely around it and on the other side.
Okay, and that's me happy we did. So I'm just going to give it a final cure. 60 seconds. Okay, that's it cooked. So pick up another scoop and just encapsulate the gold leaf. So all over nice and thin layer. And cure it. Okay, when my product is curing, I need to close everything because we are going to file it, and the filing is a really important uh, step to that. So let's take all that away. UV cleanser to remove the inhibition layer. And then we will use some e-file. So I'm just going to place a fan in here. It will be just much quicker. Remove the blue tag so it doesn't get uh, dusty. And then using the e-file, we are going to file the nice and smooth surface like you would do it on the client. keep filing don't worry if you file through some petals it is absolutely fine they go quite a long way to the bottom of the tip you really want to smooth everything out And I think that's what gives those frosted look to those flowers, like I think it's absolutely amazing. Okay, swap it to the hand file. You can already see um, how nice it looks. So hand file. Remove any extra bulkage you might have. Like reshape the needle. And then once you're almost happy with it, swap to the buffer and let's buff it. Okay, and that's it all filed, so remove the dust. Get rid of that. On the place where we had the air bubble, we've got some empty wee space, but that's absolutely fine. We can easily fill it up. So I'm just placing it back in there. Clean everything nicely. That looks absolutely amazing, guys. Let's just touch this up. Okay, I'm just going to grab the base gel. So that will fill up those place which I have over filed and I'm going to add on like a wee tiny crystals there.
This is so pretty already. I'm going to use the smallest crystals I've got. And place them in a the corner. There we are. And then three crystals on the other side. That's so pretty. And I think it's something completely different, uh, a little bit more interesting look. No, come on, stick in. Drop more of the base gel. So I quite like they are just opposite direction, those three crystals. Freeze them. And then we can apply the top coat. And that's our frozen loose finish. I have been actually playing with some other ones as well. Uh, they are a little bit more uh, advanced, like really time consuming. Uh, but I think it looks, it looks awesome. Like it's completely uh, nice and beautiful technique. Um, so you definitely you guys have to try it. Um, also on the channel we've got, and then I'm going to apply a decent top coat all over it. I love them. Like I love those air bubble here as well. Like I think it looks fantastic because you can really see it as like uh, frozen flowers, like ice age or something. And then I've got another air bubble there. So as I say, the air bubbles, normally we don't want them, but with these designs, I feel like the air bubbles uh, give a really, mm, a really nice effect to it. And you could also make the flowers which are standing, I'm actually place them here as well. So, so you can see all three different ones. Lucky <laughs> stop it, he's terrible. That's a side rose as well, and then this one is on the front. And the other one is cooked too. So let's place it just in there. And that's what we have created uh, today. So I hope guys you have really liked it. it. Because it's something slightly different. If you did hit the share button, please, so the others can see it as well. I'm sending you glittery hacks and bye for now.